All right, today we're going to be taking a look at the diff visual differences between the Turbo Graphics and the PC Engine Japanese versus the US. All right, so what we have here is the Turbo Graphics, which is essentially the US version of the PC Engine, and I mean just case-wise, they they literally took what was the PC Engine and then made it bigger for no reason other than when it came out, they thought this was too small, looked like a toy, wasn't going to sell. So through two or two and a half years of arguing and revisions and that everything, this finally came out and it came out too late, much to the downfall of NEC for the turbo graphics. But anyways, just case differences, you can see how much smaller the PC engine is than the turbo graphics and height wise. I mean, not even going to count the back section here, but you are a full-on almost 12 inches wide and 5 inches deep, where this is about 5 and a half inches wide and roughly 5 and a quarter inches deep. They're about the same thickness, but you can see it's over twice the size, not counting the giant tumor or wart sticking out of the back. What I'm going to do is let's get these opened up and take a look at what is inside and the motherboard differences and see what we can actually tell from did they move stuff around? Did they change components? Let's find out. All right, now that we got those tore down, let's just take a closer look and see what we have going on. Obviously the NEC, the, or I shouldn't say the NEC, the PC engine, the, um, card slot is attached to through this ribbon cable to the top half of the case where US version it's actually soldered onto the bottom of it. As far as components go, it's the same card slot. It's coming out the back. All of your connections still kind of run over into the same area. It looks like they took a lot of the resistors and other components and stuck them back onto here. The one thing that I can see that's different is the other chip that is right here. I can't find a copy of this one over on the US board itself. So that is one minor difference that I do see there. As far as the rest of things kind of go on it. Fairly close to each other. <coughs> All right, the uh, RF modulator is still there. The crystal that's on the Japanese one is actually moved down to this location. And on the US one, you have your main processor, your 2680, the video and the audio, and your two RAM chips up top. The Japanese one, really everything is crammed right into the same area. The connections between the components, very short runs. They don't have these super long runs like they do on the US console. That come over they're just almost you can almost just solder them straight to each other the fuse and the diode are located underneath the shield on the mosfet by the power switch on the us one you have the power switch is way over here the mosfet is right here the fuse is up here with the diode going out to power adapter power adapter sits right next to it on this one power switch on the back side. Still have the controller port. This is just a mini den. Controller port on this one is actually currently removed because it's being replaced. It's still same components kind of on the back side. And they're still, I kind of trace the lines. They're still running out to the same areas and that, but there are very minor differences of just components. There's 
quite a few more components that just flat out don't exist on the PC engine board that do exist on the US board. Theirs are very compact, you know, capacitor banks are close to each other. They don't run a lot of the other resistors. Most of the surface mount ones are actually on the back side of the board instead of the top side. They have, the US one has a few more diodes and actually more capacitors than the Japanese version does. And so just kind of differences of, it looks like they really made it bigger, added a bunch of stuff to it, kind of overcomplicated the process. And I think that's why this was kind of a failure in the US and kind of see the redesign versus I think it would have been better if they just kind of kept it small like the PC engine, not trying to expand it, they did with the turbo graphics, and really just keep it small, maybe change the color scheme up a little bit to make it match a US market. They could have just made the case a little bit bigger. They could have stood this up more or extended this cable to just kind of move things around and make it bigger with slight changes here, or kind of like the power switch not being soldered on, directly to it this one is is take this and move it out they could have just extended some of these components off of this board versus doing a full redesign like this and it probably would have been a much more successful console than actually what it was but anyways that is the visual differences between the pc engine and Turbo graphics as far as inside boards go and a little bit on the outside. It's not a whole lot too different on there. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good night. Like, subscribe, share. We are North Pole Retro and we will see you in the next one.